And welcome to another episode of Science of Wow with Mr. Dow. Uh, today we're going to primarily focus on heat movement and I'll not try and speak out some of the common terms used in science concerning heat movement for I feel it's better that any students out there who want to learn about heat movement should do a little bit of investigation on their own and familiarize themselves with some of the terminology that's used in science to describe heat as it moves through various mediums like solids, liquids, and gases. The first one, you're going to need uh, a candle, two balloons, one of the balloons filled with water, the other one filled with air. So in the first part of this experiment, I'm going to take the little candle that I have and light it. Once the candle is going, we can take the balloon that's filled with air and bring it over the candle. And what should happen is the candle explodes. It exploded so violently that it blew out the candle. So we'll relight the candle. And I'll take the second balloon that has approximately 100 milliliters of water inside it and bring it down over the candle. And we can see that actually nothing has happened. The balloon is intact, the water is inside, and the candle is still on. The question is, why? I'm sure the students can observe what is actually different, aside from the color and the size of the balloon, that there's water inside the balloon. But what effect is that water having on the balloon? That is apparently for you to decide and to find out.